Hi YouTube, this is Prash from Pragara 360. Today I'll be showing you uh, how to edit and render a video for your gaming channel. So, as you most of you are aware, whoever is having gaming channel, I having one gaming channel, are using uh, game capture cards like uh, Elgato Game Capture HD or Hopog HD PVR. I personally use Elgato Game Capture HD as it is a more compact than Hapok and it, it, it consumes really less space and it has a same sort of same standard of quality up to 1080p. So uh, I already have a tutorial on how to set it up and how to uh, record your videos. You can check out my advice and tutorial uh, playlist on my channel. So I'm not going to go uh, going into that. Uh, I'll, today I'll be showing you how to uh, once you record it, once you have record that particular gameplay of uh, of your of your game which you on uh, which you are doing a walkthrough or playthrough. After that, once it records, it's a raw file. So if you want to edit it on some way, like uh, by mission by mission or by certain uh, parts and uh, the way you want to upload. So for that, you will need a video editing software and uh, the one I use always and I prefer it and I suggest everybody to use it is PowerDirector PowerDirector 11 the latest version by Cyberlink so this software is very easy to use uh, I already made a tutorial on how to render and uh, in that tutorial I, I have shown that how fast this uh, software renders your playthrough once your uh, video is edited even if it is for 2 GB or it is 20-25 uh, minutes or even 30 minutes video it should render in less than 20 minutes for sure and with the quality of 720 or 10 AP up, up to your choice so today I'll be starting a step by step tutorial you need to import uh, your file the, the game capture file which which you have saved which you have recorded I will uh, be doing editing for uh, Devil May Cry Devil May Cry 5 uh, part uh, 15 mission 15 which is the trade so it will come in the media library uh, section and you have to just drag it on your timeline so once it comes you can uh, expand it to uh, know and to edit more, more details in the video so here uh, we'll start with the with this uh, opening section of the video where I will remove this portion we just have to click this yellow mark here and select the portion you don't want you can go to more detail you just have to click this plus button zoom in button so it will zoom in the whole portion so and you have to remove so it will remove this selected portion the yellow yellowish portion it's gone so now you can uh, go ahead and check the video which portion you don't want So I'll just fast forward it and uh, get to the portion uh, or section where uh, which I don't want. So let me just fast forward it. I will zoom out. So here I will select back. You can drag this yellow tick either backward or forward. So it's up to you. So so now 
now most of the portion uh, which I don't want is gone still I will uh, see the anything else I need to remove so just drag this particular red bar to the point where you want to still do some editing so I will stop here and tick on this yellow mark the arrow will turn into yellow see it is white here now if you tick on that it will become yellow so uh, left click on that and just drag and once it's selected the area you don't want you just have to click remove and now you can check it <laughs> So I think I'm done with most of my editing. My video looks perfect. You can review once more by playing it. Now they have uh, also some uh, options like enhancement of the video. You can click on fix or enhance. You can tick on the portion and fix and enhance. Then you have a stabilizer, video noise, audio noise. There is also light adjustment which will adjust the background of the video. Which I don't use it because uh, the video which I record through game capture ready is perfect. But one thing uh, you can do is uh, video enhancement. It will just enhance the color contrast uh, of the video from the from the raw file from the original file. So you can click. This is a status 50. Means it's a uh, it's a balance. It's a perfect one, normal one. Either you can reduce or increase. So if you want to increase, you can click on this plus sign. So it will uh, enhance the video. It will link, uh, add more color and more contrast to look it more vibrant so it's up to you if you want like that I'm happy with the original quality so I will keep it as it is other option uh, you can do is uh, power tools power tools here you can convert your video from 2d to 3d you can do that uh, which I don't want because I want only 2d videos on uh, my youtube channel then you can uh, do a video reverse then video crop you can crop the video portion of the video uh, this is video speed so sometime some portion of the video you uh, if you want to speed it up you can speed it up like this so it will increase the speed from 1 to 120 1 is the normal speed I don't want this kind of uh, speed adjustment now in this particular video so I will leave it at 1 but this is you can do uh, like in some uh, gaming tutorial some part of your uh, particular gameplay there is some boring uh, section which you want to fast forward it you can just split it you can cut it uh, that portion suppose this portion to this po this particular portion I want to uh, uh, make it a fast forward I will just select this and just speed up I will go here and speed it up so while in gameplay up to this portion it will be normal but I'll hold this portion will be fast forwarded but be careful just review it whether the sound is okay with the video if you uh, put it too much fast the sound might be lagging and your video might not look good it, it sounds really ugly so make sure you keep note of that while increase your speed of that particular portion besides that uh, if you're happy now you can uh, put your logo on the on this particular video uh, as your logo of, uh, what you call your watermark I have this created transparent 3D watermarks with a software called Aurora Texan 3D Logo Maker. I will make a tutorial for that also but for uh, for time being I will use this which I have created. So you just have to drag that particular image which is a PNG and put on the timeline automatically. So now this image is transparent so you don't have to bother about the background it is clear and uh, you just have to resize it. and put it on the section of the whole video I mean in the frame where you want it to be I want it on the upper left side of this particular frame so it will be there in your uh, frame and you have to drag it 
to whole video I mean any section you want and I prefer uh, I, I want this particular watermark or logo uh, throughout my video so I will just drag it till end of the video so now if you click on any portion of the video you see your watermark there you can also add your custom uh, channel intro so if you have your intro ready you can just drag it here I have created this intros from a website called flixpress.com so I have put that website in my description below you can visit it you can either buy it and there are also free uh, templates available you just have to feed in the information of your channel and it will make a video for you so it's really easy and cool feature and even if you want to pay it it's just one dollar or two dollar for really good templates so you can visit that website it's there in well the description again so this particular uh, YouTube intro file I want as my intro in this video so I will just drag it and insert uh, on the beginning of this video so it will come automatically there you can adjust this uh, logo from start of the video not intro so now your video is ready for rendering it is uh, perfectly done it is uh, rendered all the effects are given you have your logo there so if you are satisfied you can go to the produce section now in this uh, produce section you have multiple formats which you can use but for uh, uh, YouTube uh, uploading I think MPG4 serves the best it, it has uh, it can uh, have a really good quality high quality up to 1080p plus the least possible size so it's like a win-win situation with the size and also with the quality if you're going for the WMV or AVI you will end up with uh, good quality but with uh, end up with uh, very high uh, very what do you call big size of the video which will take ages to upload to your YouTube channel so it is best and it is recommended by many uh, youtubers and uh, uh, even YouTube suggests uh, this particular format to be used while uploading your videos to YouTube so uh, choose that you can uh, select the quality you want if you want 640 normal if you want 720 if you want uh, 1080p up to you so I will choose 720 because as you might not aware that you know, even if you upload very high quality to YouTube it, it will always uh, compress the size and accepts the quality which they are accepting as part of their <coughs> YouTube videos so no don't need to bother for uh, uh, keeping high bit rates and uh, very high quality uh, which uh, YouTube uh, is gonna uh, trim it anyway so I think 720 is fine if you are doing a video if you are editing a video rendering a video with too much detail uh, in it like you are, you are uh, doing a tutorial on a website or you are showing somebody how to do something on a particular software so in that uh, you will need to have a good quality of detail in it in that case I, I uh, suggest you should go for 1080p but for gameplays and uh, video walkthroughs for gaming channel I think 720 is enough so I will choose that automatically it selects it and now you have to just choose the location where you want to uh, have this video rendered and ready so I will go to this DMC folder and I will type mission 15 so that's it that's all you have to do and uh, here you just have to click start just have to click preview so it will have a preview during uh, your rendering and you just have to click start so it will start rendering uh, your video and as you can see the rendering speed as I told in my previous uh, tutorial on how to render a video it's really fast with this uh, software uh, it's showing estimated time of seven or eight minutes but I think it will end up less than that and also the size would be really less if you compare this rendering speed with uh, other video production software like Sony Vegas Pro uh, it's, it's it's taking ages for same size of video it will take at least one and a half hour because I have tested both software I have both software on my system installed but I prefer uh, power director because it's it's too 
too fast as far as re video rendering speed is concerned so in a matter of 10 or uh, 5 minutes this video will be rendered and ready for upload to YouTube so uh, after once it's done uh, you just have to uh, upload your video to your channel and just give a proper name the way you want or you want to add into your playlist in your gameplay you can do that so that's it and I hope I have I help you a lot uh, regarding uh, video editing and rendering uh, in the best possible manner with the software PowerDirector 11. So please guys let me know your questions, your thoughts in the comment section below and if you have any doubt or query please let me know I would love to help you uh, in that regard. So thank you very much thanks a lot for watching please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to support this channel and my work. Thank you.